What's up, y'all? She girl, Sakina, and I'm back with another review. This is my review for Ready to Love. This is season 10, episode 10. Y'all, I'm so mad. I did a hike earlier this morning, right? And <laughs> I put my hair in a hat. I put it in a bun and put a hat on top of it. So it rained last night here, but it was fine earlier today. Of course, the hike started at like 8.30 in the morning. So at that point, it's still humid outside. <sighs> My hair frizzed up. The roots are still intact. But you know, the area where I had my ponytail, it frizzed up. So I just got home, I got in the shower. I'm like, all right, let me get ready to do this video. I straightened my hair and this is the result. Does it look like I touched my hair? No, and I'm mad because I don't like to put a lot of heat on my hair, but I did this in efforts to maintain my silk press. Y'all, this look like a full on blowout. And you can even see like my, my ends are bumped. Like I bumped them babies to make sure that I was going to, you know, have some type of body, but still have the straightness. And that's what we got. <laughs> but anyway, let's go ahead and get into this review. Because it picks up where it left off last week with Alonzo, Laron, and William in the bottom. And true enough, just as I suspected, they sent William home. It was unfortunate. He was very sad about it because he truly feels like he's ready to love. But, you know, he's okay with the women's decision. So this is a hard time for everybody pretty much, but specifically for Patrice. As they were standing there in the field or in the, you know, the yard, the field, in the yard, um, she looked very emotional. And after William left and Tommy told them that the men now have the power to eliminate, she went and locked herself in the room. Vanessa went to go follow her. I said, she ain't going to let you win because you really one of the reasons why William went home. But uh, Vanessa has been pretty much going after William for a while and really giving excuses as to why she doesn't want to move forward with him. It Like, the excuses just did not make sense to me. Like, yeah, you don't have the skill set to handle what the, what he has going on, okay. But then you also had that BS excuse of him saying that he wants an active woman. That was one of the reasons why you felt like you couldn't see yourself with him or whatever. I don't know. It just seemed like she was really trying to get him out of the house for a minute. I mean, if you don't connect with him, then you just don't. And that's simple as that. But just some of her reasoning was just kind of like, girl, what? Anyway... Yeah, so Patrice ain't letting Vanessa in. Then you have Alonzo, Laron, and Chaz having a conversation. Laron is happy that he lives to see another day on the Ready to Love show. And he was like, yeah, that was a hard one. I definitely thought I was going to be out of here. And Chaz is like, yeah, me too. Because he has four connections at this point and they're waiting on him to make a decision. Look, Chaz, you only really got one and a half connections. That other half is Rasheen. Uh, Mika and... Patrice, they just hopped on the bandwagon last minute or you added them to your bandwagon last minute. I'm not trying to sit here and, and listen to this and he's sitting here acting like he all stressed. What is there to stress about? The only person that you should be considering is Vanessa and possibly Rashina. But the only one that we could see you leaving with at this point of the process is Vanessa because y'all clearly have been spending time and getting to know each other. Everybody else is just random as hell. We see Rashina and Justin talking, and he's basically thanking her for being so open and welcoming to him throughout the process. You know, that was his first. <clears throat> oh, I just ate this bar, y'all. I just ate one of these, and it's kind of like a payday. Y'all know the candy bar payday? It's kind of like that. Oh, it's just, I need some, I need some water. Hold on. Mm -mm, it's still there yeah anywho um yeah he was thanking her for just welcoming him and he was like you know i do have a connection with you and i also have one with mika and she was like yeah and i see that and that doesn't bother her not one bit she's super supportive of them getting to know each other i said see that's why i really rock with rashina because she is not for the bs she understands that this is a competition that this is or a dating show and, you know, may the best woman win. It is what it is with her. And 
it just seems like now Justin is starting to shift his attention completely over to Mika. But the conversation was definitely good. It wasn't any hostility. And I love to see that. So we see Vanessa and Chaz have a conversation. He's checking in on her. Vanessa just is not, she's not feeling what she's getting from Chaz. She's telling him, baby, it's seven o'clock. And this is my first time talking to you. But to, in Chaz's eyes, he's like, what? It's only seven. Like, we still got more time. Because at first I was like, I need more context. Is this 7 a.m. Or, or 7 p.m.? I forgot that this was a continuation from last episode. And uh, it was p.m. Because she was like, yeah, but I'm looking at it like I've been up for 11 hours and I'm just now talking to you. Whereas the remaining three ladies, they would have said that, yes, they spent some time with you. She's looking for either an equal opportunity to have some time with him or, you know, say where you going and leave me alone. And for him, he feels like she's not being uh, emotionally mature, excuse me. Says the guy who's been running around here as if he ain't never been in any type of interactions with women. You literally added two additional people to your connection plate out of nowhere. It's like a field day for you. Vanessa was wanting some some more time. This is the time where y'all are under one roof. Y'all have all this space and opportunity to just continue to get to know each other. And here you are eating grapes out of women's cleavage, eating strawberries, holding hands in bed with another woman. You got another woman begging to be a part of the clique. And you're just like, sure, the doors of the church are open. Instead of being mature and understanding and intentional with the connections that you already have instead of nurturing the already established relationships that you have you go and try to add two more it doesn't make sense and Vanessa is well within her right to question you and to try to figure out what the hell is going on he's talking about he's overwhelmed and all of that you're overwhelmed by choice because nobody told you to add additional people in the in the final hours it doesn't make sense you're putting this on your own pressure on yourself. And then he was like, I basically he'll leave. Bob, because that's what you want to do anyway. Vanessa joins the rest of the ladies or Maya and Rashina outside. And before she got out there, they had peeped that Chaz stormed out of the house and nobody could stop him. So Vanessa comes up to join them. And they were like, girl, what's going on? She was like, we just had a conversation. You know, I was just letting him know that the ladies were confused on his decision and that he needs to be this, uh, intentional and make it, make his choice. And so Rashina was like, yeah. And at that point, Vanessa feels like, you know, she said something to him. And then he's like, well, you saying this, but I did this. And she doesn't know if she's being gaslit. Or if she just has a high expectation for this situation of being in a dating competition. And Maya reassured her like, girl, no. Listen, at the end of the day, you don't want to make it feel like you can't express your feelings. So, girl, say what you need to say. And if he can't handle that, then he just simply can't. Chaz, he's really just... It's, it's officially a no for me. Because it's just like, what, what are you doing, sir? And yeah, why can't you just be up front? You're being dramatic as hell. Justin and Mika, they in her room flirting and whatnot. So it really ain't too much to touch on that. So then we see that they, in, excuse me, they end up eating a crawfish boil. I haven't had crawfish in a long time. I mean, obviously I've been vegan for like seven years, but um, yes, I used to eat crawfish, but I just felt like it was kind of like a, you you get all of that, this, this little piece of meat. It was good, but it was just not something that I was going to order. It just had to be already, you know, served up on the menu. Like, I'm actually going to a boy or something like that. But, yeah, so everybody's eating and they're like, well, you got to save some for Patrice and Chaz, who I totally forgot were even out of the scene but patrice had to you know take a moment to herself but she got it back together and she heard that Chaz was actually having a moment so she went to go check on him and he was like yeah i just need some time but he's also packing because he's ready to go home he wants to be around people who love him and care about him and she was like you don't think that we doing the same you know that we care about you he was like this process is hard and blah 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 okay well it's hard for them too so yeah you might be overwhelmed but 
so are other people. And like I said, you bringing that pressure on yourself. So she's trying to convince him to stay, but he's like, uh-uh, nah. So in his confessional, he was like, I know that the assignment was supposed to be trust and vulnerability for this week. And he just feels like the women are not really feeling him at this moment. Vanessa is questioning their connection. I said, now, I don't remember her questioning if y'all connection was real. It was just more so, more so of her trying to figure out which way were you going to go. Maybe that was edited out. I don't know, but he ready to go home. I said, I think it's mighty funny how he's ready to go home at this point because the men have the ability to send a woman home. I don't feel like he would have been doing all of this extra shit out of nowhere if it was a woman. If it was a woman's uh, week to send him home. Like, because you was parlaying and thinking shit was sweet. And now all of a sudden, pressure is being applied for you to make a choice. And you're cracking. And then packed all your bags. I said, why does he have three bags for like a two-day weekend? I don't understand. A two-day trip. Anyway, Patrice goes to the table and tells everybody, yeah, Chaz is out of here, okay? He had hit the road and there's nobody that can go and convince him to stay because he already, he gone. So Vanessa, or no, not Vanessa, Rashina is feeling some type of way that Patrice was the one that had the conversation with him before he left because she was like, I'm one of his stronger connections. Like, I'm thinking that he would have wanted to speak to me. Girl, he didn't want to speak to nobody. And even when Patrice was like, but it has nothing to do with you ladies. Yes, it do. Yes, it do. Yes, it do. I, I, I know you were saying that to make them feel better or whatever, but he definitely was doing that because of what the ladies were saying. He can't handle the heat, so he got the hell on. But at this point, everybody is just gathered around. They eating in silence. And LaRon is like, what the hell is going on? Like, uh-uh. It's time to put the damn gloves down, put the crawfish down, and let's go inside and have a good time. You know, he all about partying. So they go inside. They turn the music on. They twerking. Uh, uh, Alonzo then pulled out his damn skates. I said, not you pack the skates. <laughs> but he packed his skates and got a little roll bounce in. And everybody, I think they was doing a wobble, if I'm not mistaken. But yeah, they seemed to be having a good time. I said, I know that's right. It's, uh-uh. Hold on, y'all. It's uh, the end of the night, and everybody is going to their respective areas. But you see, Leron and Maya, they cuddled up on the couch. They about to watch a movie. I just, I don't see it. I, I'm going to say it every time. I just don't see it. I don't see, I don't see him from my girl. I just don't. I, I just don't. Um, and then you got Patrice and Alonzo. They in the room, you know doing what they do about the netflix and chill and then mika and justin they in her bed as they spoke about earlier in the episode and they live locking and everything else i said okay but where did i leave my girl rashina hmm where does that leave her i'm over this so before they head back to fort worth justin wants to talk to rashina to see how she's feeling with Chaz being gone and everything. And she is just confused. She doesn't understand why he left. But she's trying to respect his space. And she was also trying to squeeze out a tear. I said, what is this? Mm-mm. I know you ain't that emotionally invested to the point where you crying. Because cause he left. You would have thought he left the process. Do y'all know something that we don't? But anyway, I like the fact that Justin is very supportive. He's very sweet. I like that about him. That's a good trait. So we see that they're back in Fort Worth. And LeRon has set up his official one-on-one -on -one date with Maya. He gives her with some orange and white flowers because he remembers that was the color of her outfit when they first met. Now, you get a point for that because attention is very important, okay? I said, okay, I'm being a little attentive, five points that's all you get because it went down here for, for for me from there i just i'm not interested i'm not invested in this connection you know he's asking what she wants and she's like you know the white picket fence the family thing all of that i said but yes the assignment was trust and vulnerability we didn't hear anything about what Laurent had to say 
he said, well, he did say uh, he fears that when, because he's 31, he doesn't know if he's going to have kids. And Maya's like, you don't have to put a time limit on anything. What's made for you, it's made for you. And she just looks at signs from God to tell her, you know, she's in the spot where she needs to be. And he was like, so what, has God given you any signs about me? She was like, I mean, obviously we hear a girl, good way to skirt, skirt around that because now. Now, all right, Mr. Choked and Spanked, a.k.a. Alonzo, he goes and takes Patrice on a bungee fitness date. And I've always wanted to do one of those because it looks fun. Chachi was doing all that hollering. I said, Patrice, stop it. But they enjoyed each other's company. They had a good time. And Alonzo was actually the only person who displayed the act of showing trust and vulnerability because he spoke about how he was always uncomfortable using the word dad and once he did start to come around to getting to know his dad he was actually on his deathbed and he said because of that his um he goes and gets himself checked out twice a year every six months and i was like okay that's good and so they bonded over um, you know, preventative measures because Patrice also is into uh, preventative health care. So they spoke more on that and she said that she wants to live life and, you know, basically conquer fears, do things that she can, that she considers a, a fear or scary. So he was like, okay, so what about, you know, the idea of falling in love with me? Is that scary? And she said no, because she feels like that would, that would be something easy. And when she's around him, he makes her, you know, feel alive, essentially, because he always says, uh, you know, he has fun and all of that other stuff. But anyway, yeah, they feeling each other, and I'm actually going to give him a thumbs up for this, because y'all know I don't see it for him either. The men are down at Tommy's Lounge, and he likes to consider them the final four. I said more like the floating four, because I'm just shocked. I'm just... I'm shocked that the people are here. Another person that they're shocked uh, to see is Chaz. He decides to show up. He tells Tommy that he left the trip early because he just felt like he was overwhelmed and, you know, black men feel too, and he just needed a moment. So Tommy understood. They got into the connections and who they feel. You know, of course, LeRon, is, he thinks that he made for Maya. Get away from me with this, LeBron. No, 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 no. And Justin likes Mika. Tommy reminds him, you know, she is a mother, okay? And if you ain't ready to share your time with her, this is what I'm saying. If you not ready to share your time with her, then get gone. Um, Chaz, no, I'm skipping somebody. Alonzo, Patrice, we already knew that. So then Chaz, you know, we know that he's interested in four ladies, supposedly. They talk about who they're not into. Um, Patrice's name came up, Vanessa's came, Vanessa's came up, and then Rashina's name came up for a majority of the men. When it came down to Chaz, he has a connection, a stronger connection with Vanessa and Rashina. But he feels like Rashina was disappointed at him leaving, and he also felt a little judgment with him sharing his feelings. I said, where did he get that from? Because we didn't see that. Maybe she reached out to him and that's the reason why he's referring to that. I'm not sure. But yeah, but he said that they also did lip lock during the trip, their special moment. So Tommy is like, all right, well, you need to figure out if she's ready to love or not. So basically it's going to be up to Chaz to either send her home or not. Uh, I feel like even though I love my girl down, I feel like she just needs to go ahead and go home because these men ain't it, sis. My girl Vanessa can go home too. I mean, to be honest, I don't want her with Chaz no more. All right now. So Chaz goes out to dinner with Bashina. And yeah, she was like, I mean, I ain't really heard from you. He said that he did reach out, but he wanted a moment. And she really didn't like the way that he left on the trip. He could at least been like, you know, I need some time, you know, just let them know that he was leaving. So she really wasn't feeling that. So he let her know that the guys, because at first they, you know, they was doing this little song and dance at first. It's like, you know, she had a feeling that 
she was in, in the bottom at that point. And so she was like, I mean, just get to the meat and potatoes, baby. Just tell me what's up. So he was like, well, we did deliberate. And she was like, I actually got something to say. Okay, you want him to get to the meat and potatoes and he trying to tell you, but then you cutting him off to try to beat him to the chase. I already had like a feeling of what she was going to do, but it still kind of just shocked me because I wasn't, I wasn't, it's like I expected her to do something along those lines, but yeah, anyway, um, he was trying to give her the feedback of what the guys said in the lounge and she was like, basically, she just wasn't feeling the way that he was. And she decided to self-eliminate. She's definitely on the defense. And she wasn't trying to let him get a word in because she was trying to beat him to it. Like, you ain't about to tell me I ain't ready to love because I am. But what I am going to do or what I will not do is sit here and stay on this damn show any longer. So she was like, yeah, no, I'm going home best wishes to me uh, she said best wishes to you great wishes to me because i know i'm gonna find a man and he was like well we not we're not enemies she was giving a little hostility girl and uh yeah she self-eliminated but honestly i felt like she should have did that a long time ago so now at this point Chaz is going to what direct all his attention to vanessa is that's what is that what's supposed to happen next i don't know but um those two are the only ones that I could really see making it to the end together. Silly me. But now I don't want that. As far as Alonzo and Patrice, I wouldn't be surprised if they ended up together at the end just because you just never know with this stuff. But anybody else, Maya and Lauren, please. Uh, no, no, no. But anyway, uh, that was the end of the episode. Let's get into... My camera cut off, but don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Let's get down in the comments and talk, and I will see y'all in the next one. Bye.